Welcome back to this week's technical. If you're new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing the little bell next to it. It really does help to keep these videos coming. Since I've been here in New Zealand, there's been a lot of cattle topics, especially dairy cattle and especially repro. That's because that's what we've been doing. That's what's been fresh in my mind. But this week seemed like a good time to do a sheep topic, not least because I saw something I hadn't seen before, last week. Most ram lambs in the UK and New Zealand are castrated at an early age and the most common method for both countries uses a tight rubber ring. There are some other methods like bedizzo or surgical castration but really by far the most common are the rubber ring methods. Where the two countries differ is how they most commonly use the rubber ring. In the UK the standard technique is to apply the ring around the neck of the scrotum as in the testicles are below the ring as that ring tightens and the tissue dies, the whole scrotum and both testicles fall off. This renders the lamb castrated. In the north of the UK, this lamb would now be a weather. But what is far more common here in New Zealand and in Australia is something called the short scrotum technique. This method of using a rubber ring, instead of placing a ring around the neck of the scrotum, applies the ring on the scrotum only, as in the testicles are left attached on the lamb. Only the scrotum, as in the sac, is encircled by the ring and this later falls off. This removes the sac into which those testicles would descend, meaning they are kept up against the body wall. Now, sperm don't like to be warm. In fact, they can't develop properly at the same temperature as the core of the body. Hence why with most mammals at least, you'll find the testicles hanging on the outside. With the short scrotum technique, the testicles remain up against the body and therefore are warmer than they otherwise would be. And the theory goes that this puts a check on normal sperm development, rendering the ram lamb infertile. So what are the pros and cons of this method compared to the standard castration with a rubber ring method used in the UK? Let's start with the cons because really they're there is one big one. Castration of male lambs is a critical husbandry procedure because it prevents them from successfully mating with their mothers and their sisters. As well as being a headache, unplanned pregnancies like this in sheep fox would be a real animal welfare concern. When you use a rubber ring as you would do most commonly in the UK and the testicles then drop off, you can be pretty certain that animal is not going to father any lambs. So although the theory checks out and there is good evidence to support it, it. we'll talk about that in a minute there would always be that niggle that these lambs castrated by this method would retain the testicles and so retain the potential albeit a very 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 small potential to breed successfully one potentially significant difference is that in the UK lambs tend to be castrated at a significantly younger age if you're using a rubber ring in lambs in the UK you are obliged legally to not apply one after seven days of age but what might the benefits be I stumbled across this report by FAI down in Oxford. It was funded by AHD Beef and Lamb, or EBLEX as they were back in 2010, which examined the potential for the short scrotum castration technique in the UK. Unsurprisingly, with the standard rubber ring method, there is a pain response, both an acute, as in the short term, and a chronic, as in the long term, response. Starting with the acute response, when we look at studies that compare the standard technique with the short scrotum technique, we find that although for the short scrotum technique there is still an acute pain response, it is significantly less severe than that of the standard rubber ring method. Presumably this is because the testicles and the nerves that supply them are being left intact. When it comes to chronic pain, at least at the time of the report being written, the research around this was much more patchy or non-existent and so it was much more difficult to draw any real conclusions about preference for either method. And nonetheless, the report's conclusion was pretty clear. The short scrotum method has been demonstrated to result in a reduction in the severity of acute pain compared to standard rubber ring castration and as such represents an improvement which has the potential to reduce the likelihood of negative effects for lambs. As for the question mark over retained fertility, the report reviewed some of the literature around this. Some studies looked at the microscopic structure of these retained testicles which was grossly altered and dysfunctional. Others evaluated semen from these animals. Out of 10 animals evaluated, 
only two had detectable sperm after 12 days and of these 95% were abnormal and 99% were non-motile meaning they were non-swimmers and one study attempted a test mating whereby 270 ewes were exposed to 30 ram lambs castrated by the short scrotum method at 90 days these ewes were scanned with no fetuses detectable and unsurprisingly no lambs were born to these matings and there are potential rewards to the farmer in short scrotum lambs the testicles may not produce viable sperm but they do continue to produce testosterone this means ram lambs castrated by this method can grow faster they can have leaner carcasses and they can have better feed efficiency although again this isn't borne out by all studies there is a question mark over meat quality because when you compare entire uncastrated ram lambs to weathers their meat can be more flavorsome but less tender although sounding like a broken record this isn't the case in all taste panels and no taste test has directly compared a short scrotum lamb to a standard weather so is it full steam ahead for the short scrotum technique in the UK not quite that same report suggested several questions that needed to be answered before the method could be fully recommended to UK farmers number one can the growth benefits be realized at an average plane of nutrition in the UK number two can can overwintered animals perform with comparable advantages? Number three, are lambs rendered infertile by the short scrotum method of castration if castrated in the first seven days of life? And number four, how does short scrotum lamb compare in taste trials to entire ram lambs and standard weathers? As far as I can tell for all my searching, this is where we left it 12 years ago. That third question about fertility is particularly important because this is why we're doing it not only for management of these animals but also to avoid unplanned pregnancies in sheep and all the chaos that would follow all the animal welfare implications of that. If we're unsure and therefore have to still manage these short scrotum ram lambs as a separate group, are we better off not doing it at all? If you're a student, there's a great review article which looks at how we can reduce, refine and replace tail docking and castration in sheep. The link to which I've put in the video description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is a long overdue sheep topic. What I would say is don't go out and just try this. If you're considering it, beware of the caveats. Definitely talk to your vet beforehand. Don't take the word of some vet on the internet. Anyway, if you did enjoy it and you want to see more like it, click subscribe, ring the little bell next to it, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment with your feedback. I will see you for the next one.